yeah i would like to show up how to set up how to perform initial setup of quartz database using postgres server uh, and i'm on mac the first i will be using brute to install postgres uh, if you already have installed postgres you don't have to perform this you can just skip these steps but i'll show for those who don't have set up it yet so we're just using brute to install and type in install postgres this is the first command i have already installed so i'm just typing the command but not running it after that you need to run the command to remove all files Check. I'm also not trying this but just showing after that the next command is to start server Check start server. Okay. I have already running. But there is a command to check if it is running. And so I run this command, it is running version 12.2. So after that, we need to create database. This will create initial database. Uh, when you run this command, you may encounter some errors. In this case, there is one command similar to we performed before remove all files. But this will be just to remove the B file if you have for previous command have some errors. So we need this command to remove the B file and then run again. The command for after that run again to command init initiate database if needed so and now we using psql utility to create quartz up database and tables so to use this utility we'll type this command psql postgres so now we enter this terminal where we can create 
users database with um, specialist command. So the person will create user with a password. It will be just for me, it will be quartz. You can do any user you want. Create user quartz with password quartz123. Um, already <laughs> run some commands. I, I deleted the database but didn't delete the user, so, so pretend we don't see this error. And now I create database. owner quartz so create database we see here so database was created and there is a command slash list to see all database so you have this postgres quartz template 0 template 1 the red is uh, template one, uh, template template zero, template one. They automatically were created, and I read somewhere they should be there. Don't delete them, and the course that we just created. So after that, we can connect to the quartz database with the command. And by the way, th this list command, it, I think it can be just shortened. Type the first letter. And the same for connect, you can type connect or just C slash C connect to database and specify database and user so now we connect it to course as a user course and after that go to github slash quartz let me slash quartz um, scheduler quartz releases so basically we need to download source code here to get the scripts for creating tables so I got this archived files here I downloaded them and this source code here uh, inside the source codes a uh, quartz core source main resources or course uh, and quartz empl in this folder and here where we see all uh, scripts for creating tables for different servers we need this one so I'm just need get pass to this files and in terminal we will need to run the commands backslash i and then pass to the scripts so here and then the script name here need to it it's tables underscore first class and I think tables see okay see here all this is running I can check so 
because create the warping tables that exist that cre creating all these tables. So what we see here is nothing dropped and create 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 tables and exists and now we can run the command backward D to see what tables were created here. So let's create needed tables and this the short demo how to set up initial cup from initial setup to core database base and thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!